Read the story about a girl and her kitten, then answer questions about the story. Choose the best answer for numbers 7 through 12. When Jenna got home from school, she wanted to play with her new kitten. Socks was still a baby. Jenna knew he would miss her while she was at school. Jenna threw down her books and ran into the living room. Socks was usually asleep on the couch, but Socks wasn't there. Where could he be, thought Jenna. Maybe he's eating. Jenna ran to the kitchen, but Socks wasn't there. Maybe he's in the attic. He likes to hide there. Jenna ran upstairs. Socks, she called, but Socks didn't come. Jenna looked inside the boxes of old chests and old chests. She held out some cat treats in her hand, but Socks did not come. Jenna told her father that she could not find Socks. He must be around somewhere, said father. Did he go outside, asked Jenna. She knew that Socks was only a kitten. He wouldn't be safe outside. Hmm, said father. I had to sign for a package today. Maybe he got out when I opened the door for the delivery woman. Jenna gasped. She ran outside and called for Socks. She looked under the porch and behind the shed. She searched and searched but couldn't find Socks. When it was time to go to bed, Jenna knew she would not be able to sleep. Can I go outside and look some more, Jenna asked her father. No, I'll go, said Jenna's father. He got a flashlight and put his coat on. You go to bed. If I find Socks, I will wake you. Jenna felt a little better, but she was still worried. Her father was outside and the house was quiet. Jenna closed her eyes and tried to sleep. Then she heard a strange sound and sat upright. She listened for the strange noise again. It sounded like a baby crying. The noise was coming from inside the house. Jenna got up and quietly walked around the house. She listened for the noise again. There it was again. The noise was coming from the coat closet. Jenna opened the closet. There was socks.